So you're running a YouTube channel and you absolutely love it. The only problem is that people don't watch your videos. They immediately leave and your retention curve looks like this. Well, I've got eight editing tricks today that will make your retention look more like this. And with a better retention, your views will go up, your engagement will go up, and your channel will grow. Everything comes down to pacing and the J and L cut are the king of that. Which goes a little bit like this. Here we have two clips in the timeline. Now to make a J cut, trim the video of the second clip to the right. That way we have the audio playing before the second video comes in. Now snap the clip against the first one and let the audio overlap. A J cut literally looks like a J letter. And I will become an even better and stronger video editor. And the first tool on the list is gonna be hard to tame as it's pretty fierce. Now I actually do that a lot of my videos and the same thing can also be done the other way around, which is the L cut. For example, when you already introduce the next scene while you're still talking in the previous scene. Then just type in something like how to create a simple title animation in Premiere Pro step by step. So I was watching this tutorial from Ben Marriott. Here. Next is text. It emphasizes the most important words. When you ask the viewer to subscribe, you can say, please subscribe. Now the word please is more fragile and shy, so it's smaller, perhaps even slanted a little bit. But then subscribe is what you really want to draw the attention to, so you make that bigger. Text can also be very visual. If you like to express how big something is, you can say, this box is super, super, super big. And every time you make the text, super bigger and bigger, which visualizes the scale. And look at that, your retention curve is already growing, but you're not even close to a successful YouTube channel yet. That's why I highly recommend to check out my latest course in which I share all the secrets to grow your own channel. Now, this is information that you do not find online, and it's the same strategy that the biggest creators like Mr. Beast follow. You know, just check it out, guys, and I'll give 20% discount to the first 100 to purchase the course. Link in the description down below. Now, did you know that I can also detach my thumb. Welcome to trick number three. I just made a stupid joke and it wasn't even that funny, but I'm sure you giggled. <laughs> that is because I cut off the music at the moment the joke happens. That will pull more attention to the joke itself, which makes it funnier. This is a technique used in comedy all the time. Now, you can amplify this effect even more by zooming in quickly when making the joke. To do that, I like to use the transform effect. Drag it onto the clip and go to the effects controls. Now set a scale and position keyframe and move three frames further, then zoom in a little bit and adjust the position as well. Select the first keyframes, right click them and choose ease out. Then select the last keyframes and choose ease in. That will make the animation smoother. And of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to add some motion blur to the animation. Here, my thumb is coming off again. All right, the next one is actually a tool. In fact, it's helped me build my own channels. And those who don't know, I also run the Cinecomp channel, which has over two and a half million subs. Now that tool is called VidIQ. They're also sponsoring this video. And I've been using it for years now, and it played a big part in my success. And for this video, I teamed up with the guys over at VidIQ so that you can sign up for just $1. That's 98% discount, or literally half a coffee. Now once you log in, you will get access to a ton of secret weapons, such as a title generator that works specifically for your audience. Just type in a few keywords like masking Premiere Pro tutorial and the AI will come up with a title that your viewers can't resist. We oftentimes get click-through rates over 10% with some of these suggestions. Oh god, I'm really giving away my secrets here. Anyways, the keyword research tool is extremely overpowered. You can type in a keyword like Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, and check how well it performs on your channel. You can also see matching terms to see what people oftentimes look for. It helps to give you ideas for future videos. You know, we all have these days where we have no inspiration for a video. Well, then you just go to daily ideas and boom, here you can see amazing ideas generated specifically for your audience. And if you have any questions about your YouTube channel, just ask the AI YouTube coach. Hmm, let me just try something here. How many total views did my last Wednesday video get? Holy cow, that's amazing. All right, I know that starting a YouTube channel isn't easy, guys. I've been there too, and vidIQ is here to help you with that. I am so glad that I was able to make this possible, and I want each of every one of you to become successful too. So don't miss out on this opportunity by clicking the first link in the description down below and get started for just one dollar. Definitely give it a try guys and explore all the different tools. In the meantime, your retention curve is rising. Look at that. But what's happening now? The YouTube algorithm stopped pushing your videos and now your views flatlined. Maybe YouTube thinks that your videos are unprofessional. You know what? Let me take a look. Ah, here's the problem. A jump cut. You know, jump cuts are when you remove a part from your video so you see a person suddenly jump. Now it has its place for things like time lapse, and whatnot, but if you don't have a reason for it, you should avoid it. And here's how to fix that. Simply select the second clip and go to the effects controls, then scale up the video and adjust the position. This looks 
way better because it feels like another angle. You can also fix a jump cut by adding B-roll on top of your clips. That way you hide the cut. I have an idea, guys. What if we use emotion to manipulate the YouTube algorithm into boosting your videos? Did you know that 80% of emotion comes from music and sound effects? You, you felt that, guys? Now let's do that again, but without music. Did you know that 80% all right, boring. Just imagine watching a horror movie with the sound turned off. Now, sound mix is key and oftentimes done wrong. The music sounds too loud and I'm not very audible. That will kill your retention because you make it difficult for the viewer. So what you do, you turn down the music. That is not always good because now it removes emotion. So before you do that, select the music clip in the timeline. Then go to the effects library and find the parametric equalizer. Drag it onto the audio clip and head over to the effects controls. Click on edit to open up the EQ and here you can see the entire audio spectrum and as you can see the music uses a lot of that. Now we're gonna cut away frequencies in the music that clash with your voice. So enable the high pass band and cut off the very low frequencies of the song. Do the same for the low pass band. Cut away the crispy details of the music. That way there's space for the details in your voice. Now create a bell shaped band like this and swipe through the spectrum. Stop where your voice is the most understandable. Oh, the drama. If needed you can do the same with the second band. Will become useless and, this channel will die. and when done with that, go to the gain slider of the EQ to adjust the volume of the music. If I can't track objects, Premiere will become useless and this channel will die. Oh, the drama. <laughs> that is a ton better now. And yes, it worked. The algorithm got a little bit emotional and it's pushing your content. Oh, wait, wait, why is it going down again? Oh, yeah, I forgot about transitions. It's all about pacing, guys. They are proven to increase retention. You probably already already know the basics of transitions from Premiere Pro. All you need to do is just drag them in between two clips. Now they work fine, but it's the advanced transitions that really make a difference. You know, I actually studied Mr. Beast's videos and then recreated his transitions in the video you can watch here on my left. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.